a period of three minutes, we've completely transformed the midday set into a hockey lover's dream. We have Sean McCardle joining us today from Fan Cave Canada. It's great to have you back. It's great to be back. Yes, and happy Hockey Day in Canada. Happy Hockey Day in Canada. Yes. Proud to I be guess part of it. the official day is Saturday, and that's when all the Canadian games uh, teams are playing. But it's a four-day event in Kamloops, kicking off at Sun Peaks tonight. Yeah. I'm wearing my gorgeous uh, jersey that uh, I had dropped off to me, and you're wearing a beautiful jersey as well. Yeah. Um, let's talk about some of the great stuff you have here. Sure. So, you know, Lanny McDonald's coming, so we mm -hmm. have a nice piece attributed to him. Uh, we're exclusive 3D manufacturers, so I put a lot of 3D stuff out today. Very cool. So it's, you know, kind of reinvigorated the sports memorabilia industry. It got kind of flat for a while. Yes. So we had to come up with some new ideas. So this 3D stuff is really doing well. And do you love it that some of these uh, alumni members are coming into town? Oh, what an it honor. It's amazing, what right? What an honor. We're getting a close-up here of uh, Kerry Price, of course, yeah. uh, very popular, of course, being from Anaheim Lake, I believe it is. Yes, it is, yeah. Yeah, yeah. my son wants to drive up there one day. Yeah. No, no son, <laughs> it's going to be an eight-hour trip, but still, very cool. Well, he's turned out to be one of the greatest phenom goaltenders that we've yeah. ever seen. So. Yeah. Yes, yeah. uh, and he's a good. He's a good kid. He's a. He's a nice guy. He's right. fun to work with. Let's talk with the Oilers up here. Good old Connor McDavid, won a mm -hmm. goal, two assists in his first game back. Uh, so we put Gretzky here. And, nice. And Connor, a good comparison of uh, what the future is going to hold for hockey. I think. How do you decide which to bring in, which things to bring in, and how to do this? I mean, you know, I'm an old school guy, so I like to do a lot of the old school stuff. Mm -hmm. You know, our big part of our market is the 40 plus crowd. Yeah. So you know, I try to really. Push that, but we know we've got all the, all the up-to-date stuff too, doing our own framing and own stitching and stuff like that. So we can pretty much do anything. Yeah. I mean, we've got a big facility. You know, we've got over 250 uh, pieces at the gallery. Is that right? So and it's constantly changing. Every two weeks, it's a it's a new store. So it makes it fun. If somebody comes in and they love your stuff, but they don't see exactly what you want, they want, is there a chance that you can go about finding Absolutely. it? Absolutely. We can okay. source pretty much anything. And is so. a lot of your stuff autographed? Some of it is. Yeah, probably about 50 percent of it is. Is that right? Uh, you know, everything comes with a certificate of thought. Authenticity, you know, they're all licensed products, um, which helps to protect the integrity of the industry, and that's something that Fan Cave truly believes in. Is uh, you know, buy legitimate stuff. It's got the intrinsic value. It's got the resale value. So if you pass yes. it on to your young ones or something like that, at least when they, you know, maybe want to cash out later on, they can. Absolutely, and it's all about passing down those heirlooms, and people Absolutely. love that, right? Yeah, you betcha. Um, you guys are located across from Petro Canada on Victoria Street. Do people generally know where you are at this yeah, point? Yeah, we, we've done a lot of renovations to the building. Mm -hmm. we got the big red poles out front. we got our own parking, which is kind of nice. Uh, it's really tough to find parking downtown, so mm -hmm. we're just off of uh, 10th Street there, so it's... Uh, it's a pretty easy place to find now with the big red poles out front. Fantastic. And do you guys sell anything else besides uh, the, the frame things? Like, do you sell jerseys or cards? Absolutely. Or? Yeah, we do jerseys. Okay. We do the paraphernalia stuff, you know, the uh, the hats, the barbecue stuff, you know, all that kind of stuff. There cool. there's really isn't anything that we're not uh, into. And if uh, you see something that you want, I'll get it for you. Yeah, which makes it very cool. Yeah. It's fun to just go down. I've been into your store. It's fun. You can walk through the rooms and just see all of the different stuff. You have it nicely displayed so you can see what kind of options there are out there. And like you said, if you don't see exactly what you want, uh, Sean will help you find it, yeah. which is very cool. Yeah, with the custom framing and stuff like that, a lot of people got photos at home or jerseys and stuff like that. We can frame those up for you. And, nice. And everything's done high end with the ultraviolet glass and the acid free museum matting. Wow. And, you know, plated and stuff like that. Looks really, really good stuff. Well, judging by the ones that you have here, I really like that one with the uh, the, the lifted center and the Oilers. Uh, yeah. That's very cool. Yeah. Very cool. Anything else you wanted to add? I think it's great that you brought this all in uh, just to sort of help us kick off Hockey Day in Canada because yeah. we're huge supporters here, of course, at CFJC. Oh, we're just, you know, proud to be the city of Kamloops to get a, yeah. an event like this. It's, yeah. it's uh, not an easy thing to do, so no. kudos out to the guys that put all that together. That's right. Fantastic, Sean. Thank you for being here today. Well, thanks for having me, Susan. Very welcome. If you would like to go and check them out, it's 1012 Victoria Street. You just cruise down Victoria. You're heading east, and it's on the left as you get to Petro Canada. It's right there. They've got great stuff, so definitely check them out. We're back in two minutes. Stay with us.